If you're trying to figure out Amazon One Link, but the only thing that ends up happening is this, then let me try and help you. So Amazon One Link got rid of their One Link code. It what used to be a HTML Java code that you would put into the footer of your website. You don't need to do that anymore. So but the first thing you have to do right from the get-go is sign up for each geographical location's Amazon's store. And you have these choices here, United Kingdom, Canada, Deutschland, France, España, Italia and Japan. Definitely said one or two of those wrong. <laughs> so for example, you need to go to amazon.co.uk's associates page and sign up. You ha then have to do that for the Canadian one, for the Japanese one, for all of those stores. And the stores listed that I went over, these are the only ones you are able to do. You cannot do any extra ones. So I am connected through UK and Canada because on one of my sites, those are the second, the second and third top countries that I get traffic from, number one being the US. So I am in my UK store. I go to my manage tracking IDs and then I will add a new tracking ID. You can see here, I got fix UK tracking ID. If I wanna add a new one, which is the position you'll be in, you click here and add a new tracking ID. Let's say you had a bonsai tree site. Probably need some numbers in there. So then I would add a bonsai tree. It would give me a UK, UK tracking ID. I then go to my Canadian associate store. I go up here, I go to manage my tracking IDs and I add a new one. You see here I got fix CA tracking ID. You have to do that for each and every country you want to connect. Once that is done, you want to go back over to your, your main Amazon Associates account. For most people, that's going to be the US. And you're going to go up to Tools, One Link. Click that, you get taken to this page. I'm just reloading it here. Get your One Link, click here to link up your accounts. So you go into here and now I can link up my accounts. So you can see here in the United Kingdom's link your store page, I can select any one of my tracking IDs from this drop down menu here and update it and it will connect that store. I can then click on my Canadian geography and I can link my fix CA tracking ID and link it up there and it will tell me that it is verified. You will have to go through and do this for each one of the geographical locations. And so once all of those accounts are connected, you can try getting your Amazon links to work through one link. Now, one of the ways you'll do this, if you don't have a plugin or anything like that, if you do want to use a plugin, check out that video there I just did, and there'll be a new video on a different Amazon affiliate plugin. But let's say I want to promote some sort of bonsai tree. If you want to see if bonsai trees are a good niche, check out that video as well. Okay, so I got this Brussels Bonsai Live Golden Gate. I want to link that. I got a perfect bonsai site. I want to link this. What I'm going to go up to is get my link. And up here, it has my tracking ID. So I got my store ID because I'm in my US store right now searching on US Amazon. That's my US store, fix zero C. My tracking ID, I have several tracking IDs. So this is really important to pay attention to here. You see my tracking ID. Amazon One Link will only work with one tracking ID. So this is not as helpful when you have multiple sites because you will only be able to capture international traffic with one of those websites because you'll be using a specific tracking ID with one website. And so in summary, you have to first sign up to each individual country's Amazon Associates program. You then need to create a tracking ID for each one of those stores, a Canadian tracking ID, a United Kingdom tracking ID. You then connect all of those similar IDs in the one link. And keep in mind, you can only capture the one link international traffic with one tracking ID. So if you are trying to capture one link international traffic, you make sure that when you get that affiliate link, whether you're using a plugin or that drop down menu on the actual Amazon's homepage, make sure that the, the tracking ID within that link is the one that is connected in one link. <laughs>